So what's your role here at NORS? Um, so at NORS here I do the physiotherapy, um, so that and rehab. So yeah, just getting the lads back, you know, if there's any injuries, getting them that first stage from acute rehab up to kind of being able to hand over to, to Brando to run them out on the field. So what are the common injuries you typically treat in rugby league? Um, it's been quite a few knees, actually quite common, knees and AC joints. So um, yeah, knees, shoulders are the most most common, just ligaments generally. Yep, sure. Yeah, sure. How does the work that you do help the team to recover for their game? Um, so basically on, say, a, a Monday post-game, the lads come in here from about 4.30 and just if they got any niggles or any little in like things that they didn't feel straight away after the game that I haven't kind of had to assess at the game but they're going, oh, you know, I'm a little bit sore here, get in, assess it, kind of triage it to decide how important, you know, if it's something that really needs a lot of rehab or if it's something that'll kind of just get better on its own over the week. Yeah, just help them with like some recovery strategies post post-match or on the Friday going into the match. Sometimes just little flush massages just to kind of help them feel nice and ready to go. For you, what has your physio career, I guess, been so far? Um, well, I've taken a very roundabout way to get to physio. So I was originally a Sparky. Um, yeah, okay. so then I, yeah, put, went out in the mines there and got myself into personal training when I was out in the mines as well. Yeah. So. Um, and that really got me interested in the health and fitness kind of world. So um, put myself through uni while I opened up my own strength and conditioning um, business. So I was kind of getting the, the theory side from physio, but then I was getting to practice it um, with yeah, athletes, mostly in squash and footy again in other teams. And then, um, yeah, this year is actually my first year out as a physio. So yeah, doing um, this role here and working in um, clinic at the joint, um, yeah, just treating both everyday people and, and lots of the boys come in as well. Yeah. yeah. What do you enjoy about working in a sports environment? Um, it's really good, like just culture being around all, all the lads are all uh, always pretty positive and willing to kind of crack a laugh, but it's also a place where people are kind of quite motivated to get in there and help themselves. So do like a lot of my role is prescribing exercise. Um, and most of the lads are pretty good. They don't need too much of a, you know, naughty boy to, to get them to get in and actually do do the work, which is good. Um, so yeah, it's that's probably one of the, the better parts about it, yeah. You're based at the joint at Nanda. Yep. Do, does the joint just treat sports injuries or um, do they do a broader range of? No, it's definitely like a real broad range of, of, of people. So a lot of, um, just your, your general aches and pains, your weekend warriors, um, lots of then like your chronic disease stuff as well. So treating, giving them both like hands-on and exercise work, um, falls and balance kind of, um, or falls prevention stuff. Um, I actually really enjoy that stuff as well. It's good, it complements kind of, you know, in here being on the highest end of dealing with, you know, pretty, pretty elite athletes and then down to dealing with, you know, Margaret down the road who's really struggling with standing up out of a chair and you can help, you know, everyone in that little spectrum, so it's really good. Is there anyone from the team you would say is the most annoying to treat or difficult to treat? Um, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship and funny uh, with, with Brad Loopy, I think. He's always, always really good to treat. He asks some very interesting questions. <laughs> um, stress, I've got on... Uh, Go down really well. I was treating him for a while with a uh, PCL injury, and he was he was very good quality and a, a hard customer to make sure he was doing his exercises. So, <laughs> what advice or what would you say to a young person who's thinking about getting into physio, whether it's sports or? Um, if you're getting into sports physio, I I've found it so much easier having a strength and conditioning background. So I would definitely recommend getting some sort of either exercise science or like strength and conditioning kind of background or if you're not doing like it officially doing it via like experience getting out there putting yourself in teams like this not only attaching yourself to the physio side of it but attach yourself for a little while to like a, a strength and conditioning coach or something can really get the what they are wanting because you can't just in it, with athletes, you can't just put them on rest. You can't just go, no, they're just going to lay in bed for, you know, a week. Because 
that'll detrain that much that they won't be any use for the team for a while. So you really have to figure out ways that you can work in with the SNC coach to keep that person kind of moving along the track to be able to get out on the field again. So that'd be my big kind of takeaway. They don't have strong thumbs because they're very, very muscly boys. So hard, hard massaging when you got to get in there and do that. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming in. No dramas at all, mate.